I'm here for the stole competitions that we're having the National Stole Competition Series. This is a demonstration competition, but we all think it's just a regular competition anyway. So could you tell us about your unique engine power plant and aerodynamic modifications that have made this such a hit on the internet? Well, it started out as a Yamaha Apex engine, out of, actually out of a snowmobile. It's a four-stroke, four-cylinder, but it's been built up by Edge Performance in Norway. So it's got different rods and pistons and things to handle boost, and then it's turbocharged. It makes about 300 horsepower. It's an NR prop. They're made in the Ukraine. I've been using them for several years because they work good, their price is good. Behringer brakes and wheels. Now those shock absorbers, what system is that? TK1 or Shock Monster, they're out of California. My main thing I do is actually sell these airplane kits. It's a Just Aircraft Highlander. It's my full-time thing is selling the kits and helping people build a really good one because I'm always working to try to figure out little things to make them work better and things that they can do too. Not, not. I don't want to just make myself a real tricked out airplane that nobody can have one like. Anybody can have one just like this. A lot of aerodynamic modifications, do you want to expound upon that? Well, there are a little bit. I have a leading edge cuff on the front of the wing that makes the wing work a lot better, get more angle attack, fly slower, actually flies a little better in turbulence. And then also I do have a leading edge slat on the wing right now. I don't always have that on there. One of the events I really like to do is stole drag racing. I take the slat off for that. There's a few little changes, run littler tires. When you're doing stole drag, it's not about stopping short, it's about everything just happening fast. My world record for a short takeoff in a competition, it was a video worldwide competition, was two and a half feet. And I think my landing, if I remember right, was 15 feet, 14 and a half. And I had about 15 to 20 miles an hour wind that day. It was really gusty and it was a handful flying it because it wasn't smooth wind. But Even though it's garnered so much interest on the web and it's sort of become this icon in terms of competition and stole takeoff, I take it you do use it for fun and do things with it. Oh yeah, it's my everyday plane. I used to fly it everywhere. Lately, I've started hauling in the trailer a little bit just because there's so many more competitions and they're so far away and the weather and this, this way I can bring everything with me. It's pretty nice, but no, it's my everyday go camping. It's got a great baggage area. It's awesome to load up and go up the mountains. You know, we live in Idaho, go up and go camping in the hills. It isn't just the competing. It isn't just the flying. Man, there's so many good people in this, you know, in this industry, this sport. Yeah, it's, re it's really good being here and seeing so many friends. The M600 SLS with Halo System is the first general aviation aircraft in the world that can safely land itself in the event that the pilot is unable. Thanks to Garmin Autoland, the system can be engaged with the simple press of a button. Autoland safely guides the aircraft and your most precious cargo to the nearest airport. The M600 SLS with Halo System, recalibrating the scale of safety.